taking a trip down a Raiders memory lane today. My Raiders memory lane, anyways. Forgive the mess, but that's part of it. I was looking for these jerseys for the longest time. I had to dig in the deepest butt crack of my storage upstairs to find them. One of my away jerseys. I think actually Kevin Burnett bought this for me, bought it for the whole linebacker crew. Uh, he said, take your jerseys home. It was the last game of the year against the Chargers, 2014. This one, I'm not sure where it came from. Um, maybe somebody else bought it for me because I was just a young pup on rookie contract, too cheap to think about it, any of that anyways. Um, but yeah, wanted to share some of my stuff. Um, it's gonna be a long season and I know my backdrop kind of sucks, but um, if I'm gonna be making Raiders content all season, then I want it to look a little more awesome. So I'm just gonna work with what I got in my office, which isn't much, but I gotta shuffle some things around. So I think I'm gonna take this desk, spin it around so that this is my backdrop and put some jerseys and frame pictures and stuff here. I got some old game balls and whatnot over here. Um, same with here and I might, sh I don't know, just play with it, kind of Tetris things around a little bit until I get to, to something cool. But I wanted to share some of the, um, some of the stuff I uncovered while I was going through storage. I had no idea I had, for, for some reason I kept some game pants, which I don't know, maybe I'll make a, a sketch and just throw some of that stuff on at some point. Found some of these old, this is going to be interesting to dive into. Miles Burris profile, Raiders report 2012. I mean, 2012. <laughs> um, I don't know what's in that. I don't, and I don't know why I grabbed it. Um, but maybe that was their scouting profile on me in the combine or something. This just says number 56. I'm so pumped I found this. My, throughout my rookie year, no, maybe towards the end of it, I kind of collected some of the cool plays that I made uh, throughout my rookie year in 2012 and kind of made my own kind of pseudo highlight tape with no music or anything, but just the plays from two different angles of the game tape. Um, this NFL Films made me some, uh, some highlights from throughout my career. Uh, this was also like an episode of some Nickelodeon thing I did for their flag football national tournament. I don't know, maybe I'll get into some of those things. If, if you hit me in the comments, let me know if that's something you'd want for me to cover. Um, Got some old game gloves. This says Snow 56, so apparently these must be some thicker gloves. Um, here's a salute to the salute to service. Here, here is the uh, 2015 or no no 2013 linebacker core. It's already framed up, um, and then I gathered a bunch of other pictures. I think my parents collected all these for me because I haven't dove into all of it yet. Uh, that's 2012, Raiders Pictures and Articles 2014. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, careful. Oh, that's kind of cool. That was printed out. Miles Burris proposed to his high school sweetheart day after Raiders drafted him. True story. I'd been dating my wife for seven years. I knew I was going to marry her. I uh, had the ring and everything, which is a cool story in and of itself. I was praying for a ring for a long time. I knew I was going to marry my wife, um, who was my girlfriend at the time for a while, but I was praying for money. And then one day before, you know, the NFL was even a thing, her grandparents came up to me and said, Hey, I know you've been thinking about wanting, wanting to marry Jenna. We've got the old ring of her namesake, which is her great grandmother, uh, Jenna. And, um, and they gave it to me and I said, I was so grateful. Uh, just cool how God works there. But, um, the cooler thing about that was that that ring was made in Oakland way, way back then. And I did, this was before the Raiders were ever a thing. I was just, you know, Kind of a hometown kid over there because it was the closest team to my hometown. I was from Granite Bay right outside of Sacramento. Um, here's a little 2012 preview. Uh, just different articles. This was a cool one. I remember this one from my rookie year. Miles Ahead. Just essentially uh, talking about ex-Aztec Burris has hit, uh, been a hit as a Raiders rookie linebacker. Man, that's cool. Um, you know, I haven't, 
really gone through this in some time. One, because it kind of feels like a waste of time. It's like, oh, I always know it's there. I don't want to spend a whole day kind of looking through storage and looking at stuff and where does that really get me? You know, I'm trying to push forward and things and just feels like you're kind of wasting time. Um, and even does a little bit right now, even though I know it's purposeful, it's going to help me to make my, uh, I guess you, my office and where I shoot my content look a little better. Yeah, this is 2014. This was my last active season with the Raiders. I was uh, released injured before. Uh, There's a, can't remember that guy's name, was that Castle? Um, released injured after the draft in 2015, before the season was still, you know, technically a credited season, but I was injured. Um, tackle on a Saints dude there. Cool. I got to kind of decide which of these eight by 12s, I guess they would be to frame. Oh, here's a cool one. Mike Huff giving me some love and I'm celebrating after my first TFL. So this was a cool, um, this was a cool game. This was my very first game in the NFL. Um, it was a night game. I can't remember if it was the first Sunday night football game of the 2012 season or the first Monday night game of the year, but regardless, nationally televised, bunch of people watching, and that's my first regular season football game, which everybody knows is, you know, the real taste of the NFL. So I was nervous as all get out. I remember going up to Mike before the game and just running through all of our basic checks, you know, just like, yeah, so that's everything. He's like, yeah, man, that's everything, you know? And, um, yeah, I just remember I went out there and everything was just kind of like a blur. I was just, um, it, I'm lost for words right now. I just remember, yeah, I just, I was running on pure instinct and I, I led the team in tackles. I think I had like 13 tackles by the Raiders count or something. The NFL gave me nine, I think. That's the thing too. They got, with the NFL and the, the official stats, they got people that they are official stats keepers that are sleeping on the job up there because they will get things wildly uh, incorrect at times. Here's the rookie year versus Carolina. I uh, sacked Cam Newton and picked him off in the same game. That was cool. That's a duplicate. Oh, cool. Take a stand. Uh, this was an event they did at my alma mater, Granite Bay High School. That's Tim Brown there uh, and me. We were talking about something. I don't know. Giving back, you know. I don't even remember that. It's a children's hospital. Now he's got the uh, <clears throat> needle seal on his arm there. And I'm glad to see that. And a smile on his face. I repressed a lot, a lot of memories from my playing days. <laughs> and that was just kind of a, a habit of uh, my childhood. I repressed a lot, a lot of memories. And I, I kind of kept that survival tactic even into parts of my adult life. When I was playing for the Raiders, we weren't awesome. And uh, the problem with that is, is you repress some cool things, too. I don't have a memory of that. Is a signing. <clears throat> John Kondo next to me, longtime snapper. 
I recall Marcel Reese was here today or on this day. I think Steph was new ski as well. Oh, that's cool. Two different shots of the same play. Um, that's me uh, pressuring Big Ben on, I think it was their last, I think it was a fourth down, their last offensive play for us to stop them. And uh, I remember, you know, I sacked a lot of quarterbacks in my day. I remember getting a hold of them and, you know, giving my all to take him down. And it felt as though he had his feet rooted in cement or something. The strength that he had and the balance. I remember it being very difficult to bring him to the ground. He was really strong. And, uh, yeah, that's a good memory there. We got a win on the Steelers my rookie year and uh, had a big part to play on that. That was fun. I was actually going to hug the back. Hug the back means I have him man-to-man -man if he goes out for a pass. But if he stays in the block, you can go rush, rush him, you know, and take him and throw him into the quarterback. Or if, you know, he's just going to stay in there, you just go rush the, rush the passer. And I was able to get a... A pressure in because of that. <laughs> Preseason, looking lost because I am. Learning on the fly. And just a little rookie mug shot. Here's me mugging the Jaguars between plays. Well, that's fun. I think of all those. I may get these two framed and then the Pittsburgh as well. Just line this place up with a bunch of bunch of pictures, Raider, Raider memorabilia. You know, I think a part of uh, not bringing some of this stuff out, and I remember not even really keeping as much of the stuff as I probably should have throughout my years there. There's always this mindset of like, I'm meant for more. My, my, my career is going to be so much more. I'm always going to be here. Um, this isn't going to define me. I'm on to bigger things. And I also didn't want to be, you know, to a different degree. Like, you know, those guys that get stuck in their high school days as their, as their glory days, you know. I, I believe I'm going to be on to um, doing even greater things than, than this period of my life. Though as the years kind of go by, I am more proud of it, uh, less resistant to kind of looking back and facing it. Um, I'm really grateful for it, you know, for what it gave me, for what it gave my family. Um, good head start in life. I got to live some childhood dreams, uh, prove to myself that hard work and you know, dreaming and making a plan around things, it, it can lead to better things in your life. And then if you can do it once, you can do it again. Hmm. This was an old little linebacker pamphlet. I can't remember which coach made this, but Oakland Raider linebackers must be smart, tough, relentless. They give some stack alignments and pyramid. Or this is the triangle. I don't know if y'all can see this. So a linebacker should be able to see kind of a triangle between the interior linemen through the backs. Read it all. See if there's any pull, pulling. See where the backs go. <sighs> Crazy. Sometimes I, I like to look at those things. I was never a big X's and O's guy. Um, you know, I, I could learn it, but it, every day felt like I was cramming for like a math test, uh, and I'm not gifted at all in math. And so as, you know, as soon as I was done with football, it just all immediately exited my mind. So I look at it now and I'm just like astonished that I even understood that at some point. Um, and even when I was playing, I was no Luke Keekley. I was morally a, just like a more a purely instinctive player, you know, 
I don't know why I could kind of sense where the ball was going and when it would cut back and you know but you know as far as the X's and O's and understanding route schemes and this that and the other that was never my my um, expertise we'll say um, but yeah I don't know I don't even know if I'm going to post this but um, yeah Raider Nation love y'all I'm going to try to make this uh, a little cooler so maybe on the next video it'll look a little cooler um, rough loss we had on this last one um, nothing we're not used to <laughs> but we keep showing up throughout the season have some fun with it um, make some videos stay up with things let's have some fun <laughs>